Hey everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and we've got today's top five plants. I'm going to start with this beautiful petunia. It is called Cascadia Chili Red. And what I love about this is that it has gigantic blooms. So these blooms on this petunia, they are huge for a trailing petunia. Um, normally we see this size of bloom in like a seeded or a six pack petunia, but this is trailing. I can hear my cat outside. I'll have to bring them in. <laughs> but um, a trailing petunia, beautiful. And what I love about this red is that it has a really dark center. Um, just a beautiful red. We got to see it last year at New Blooms um, and it was just stunning with that size of flower. This um, petunia, well, all petunias grow them in full sun, parts of full sun, at least six hours of uh, light hitting the leaves in the daytime all the way to full day sun. We have lots of these um, and you don't wanna miss out if red is your color. Okay, our next plant for today's top five is this awesome grass. It's called, I think, Isopolis, Isolepis, Is I don't know. We call it fiber optic grass. That's the nickname. And um, you're going to use this in a medium-sized planter. Generally, it is um, a smaller type of grass, but it is so cute with these little um, seed pods on the end. I have seen these reseed and just like little ones come up on the floor in um, spots where we ha where we grow the grasses. We'll see, we'll, every once in a while, we'll see a little uh, little one growing. But um, I haven't had it come back outside here in Alberta, but maybe in other places or other regions, it is a perennial, it's not in Alberta. Um, but yeah, this is just a really great grass and I really like to use it, like I said, in the medium-sized planters or even small planters as well. Um, the next plant is a beautiful osteo. This is an osteospermum called Sunburst 4D. Uh, there's lots of brands, but this osteo has like double petals in the center and it doesn't close. So once it opens, um, once the bloom matures and opens, it stays open. Other osteos close at nighttime, but this is open all the time. It's a really cheerful yellow. Yellow is definitely one of our favorite colors. Hi, Scotch. Come on. Aw, he's here now. Oh, hi, baby. Do you want to come up? Come here. No. He just wants me to know he's here, I guess. Aw. We're going to go inside soon. He's probably looking for his friend who's already in the house. Anyway, uh, back to the 40 osteos. They, um, yeah, they don't close at night. So they could be in a spot that's a little less sunny than the other osteos going. Still east side, south side, or the west side would be great. Um, but yeah. They're beautiful, a beautiful shade of yellow. Scotch, come here. No, he's, he's adventuring. Okay, our fourth plant for today's uh, top five plants is this beautiful lavender. Take a look at um, the bloom on that. It is so pretty. I don't know the exact name of this. I ordered a dozen different types of lavender and tags never came. So um, we labeled the trays and then those pots are gone and I don't know what it's called but it is gorgeous and we have lots of lavender in the store. Lavender likes to be grown on the dry side and it loves heat. In our area do not expect it to overwinter. Very rare does that happen. So um, lots of heat, lots of sunlight um, but not a ton of water. Um, yeah so it's actually really easy to grow. Fantastic in like a cute little terracotta pot because of you know its needs it can be dry and it likes heat um yeah so just great make sure you get a couple lavender for your patio table or something like that and our last plant for today's top five plants is portulaca so we have we've actually sold a ton of portulaca we have some left i bet by the weekend it will be gone long weekend um <clears throat> every year we grow we grow more and every year we sell more. It's very popular. Portulaca is a, really a type of succulent and it's a, a basically an annual flower. These beautiful little rose blooms. Now these are mixes. Um, you're gonna grow this in a spot that is really hot and really dry. They need very little water, which is ideal in a rock bed or a south side bed or window boxes. They do get quite large and bloom profusely um, just all summer long, just tons of blooms. So really, Lots of color, very low maintenance, and really good for those hot, dry areas, which are hard to keep other plants satisfied. So um, we do have portulaca, like I said, and then we will be out of it probably by the end of the weekend. Um, 
we'll have ice plant as well though so that's kind of exciting um on the portulaca all of our portulacas in six packs and these are uh five dollars and fifty cents per six pack so you get all six of these for 550 and that's it for today's top five i'm gonna take scotch inside and uh, i think we're gonna snuggle so bye guys have a good night